You're shy and sensitive. You're too intelligent to do this. Alright. Feeling dumb, ugly, stupid, fat, miserable, disgusting, member of either sex who wants to take a chance. And kiss the fuck. I don't know, do you think you qualify? What's his name? Dumbo? I can't really hear what you're saying. Well, whatever your name is. You want some? Come on, come and get it. As they say.
what's happening. Nice one. No, no, I'll keep it. Enjoy yourself. I'll have one of these. You don't mind, do you? Alright. Now, God made three big mistakes. The first one was the construction of a device known to the real world as the poodle. Check him out, folks. Frenchy, the fake poodle. Now, right after God made this first inexcusable mistake, the poodle, he made two other mistakes. That's bad. Number two was called Mad, and number three was called Blue Mad. Do you believe me so far? Yeah, you, right down there with the little diamond shaped patterns on your body. Okay. When the poodle was first constructed, it had hair evenly distributed all over itself. It was not clipped, trimmed, and tweezed as our demonstration model is. Now the Woo Man looked upon the dog with lust in her aforementioned heart. Because she knew that the poodle, if it ever got a chance to stuff its pre-moistened little snout into her zone, if it ever got up the zone, then the Woo Man knew that she would have a good time. Not only did the Woo Man know that, she knew that the man was, well, he was a chump. Let's be honest about it, folks. Once a chump, always a chump. And Adam was a fucking chump. No way around it. And so here's what Wu Man did. You know that whole business about the snake and the apple? It wasn't like that at all. What it's really about is the poodle and the tweezers. It's where it all started. The Wu Man convinced the man to get up and go out of the Garden of Eden and get a job. And he did that. He went out and he started. He was the first of God's creatures to learn how to push a broom, which is what many of you will be doing in the future as soon as you get your degree. Just thought I'd throw that in there. We have another song about that in a moment. But anyway, the man went out, got a job pushing a broom, and he came back, and of course he gave all of his money to the Wu Man, because he figured that since she was so cute, she'd know what to do with it. And of course, while he took a nap, because he was tired, she went out to the nearest primitive hardware store and purchased some clippers, some scissors, and a pair of zirconic crusted tweezers. Then you know what she did? She came back and she she did a J-O-B on the D-O-G. You know what I mean? That's as erudite, erudite as I get tonight, folks. She cleaned up this area here on his uh, back, his thorax, his uh, tongue, tongue, his medulla, and right here around Naperville, she removed all the unwanted brown particles. Then, delicately tweezing away just a few of the stray hairs, she caused the poodle to stick out its titillating little red flannel tongue. And then she made the poodle sit up on its hind legs, as I will now demonstrate. Sit, boy. Then, then she went over and she squatted on the poodle's snout and literally stepped it up her zone. And somehow or another, while she was down there, managed to look deep into the poodle's little beady eyes and said these words. Oh, Sean. 
fly is all clean and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. Prisoners grumble and kiss their clothes and scratch their battered hair. A tiny light from a window hole a hundred yards away is all they ever get to know about the regular life. So bad, the stones been choking in the great big gray stripes. In the room where the giant fire burns, the woods is where the torture never stops.
the album. So this, this is another true story. This is a song that gives advice to the love lord. This is a special song dedicated to the young men in the audience who go out on the weekends trying to, desperately trying to find something to stick their weenie in but don't know how to really go about it, you know? Well, because, see, this is a public service from the world of rock and roll. As you all know, we in the world of rock and roll stick our weenies in just about everything that comes along, see? And so we figured we'd pass along some secrets to you that will help you get for your weenie what your weenie really wants, okay? So just follow these instructions and you'll have it made. The name of this song is Find Her Finer. Table. I said, watch me. 
comes out to all our friends in the toilet, and the Cuban Creek, Manx, and all our dear fine friends, Coco, Prince, Baby Bones, Dagmar, all of them. This definitely goes out to them. I wish they could be here to see it, enjoy it. Salute to SM.
baby says, so I jump in the ocean and I started to swim, but my chances of survival are getting mighty slim. So I fell down a way and I was heading my way, and I reached the school by the half the day. When I got the lover's lane, I was almost dead, but my soul was gone, and here's what I said.